Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? Uh, I realize you can go into the locker room, snatch some medicine and all that stuff. Uh, if I haven't shown that up, and the reason I may not have, is because, yeah, apparently there's stuff in the locker room I didn't even know. Lots of police shields and a dead cop. How exciting. So moving on, we have this store. This store was locked, but because we beat that one monster dog thing, dog man, that killed Torres, we have access to it. We got the key. My inventory is full. Great. Give me a second. Anyways, as I was saying, uh, we didn't have access to this, but now we do, and there's a weapon, and let's see, what else do we got? Some goodies, a tool, I can always make use of that, and my inventory is full again. Great! Just when I was thinking I had things all set up. Offense. Awesome. I'm going to have to use that right away, deposit some junk and everything, and then we're going to go right to the boss. I'll be right back. Okay, now we're back. Back on track. Hey, how's it going, everybody? I might sound a little weird. Kind of recovering from a uh, upper respiratory infection. Don't worry about me, though. I'm taking meds. Getting better. I decided we should probably go investigate all the stuff that we got going on here. That looks fanciful, the little screen in the corner. Anyways, enough of this. I'm a little more souped up. I'm going to show off this battle because, well, let's, let's face it. If you came in here, you'd have to fight it. No point in cutting that. I mean, it's a necessity. Also, I'm a little more powerful, may have upgraded my equipment, gotten better equipment, tooled up a little bit. It's pretty fantastic if I do say so myself. Yeah, we're doing pretty alright. Ooh, full cure. That, that's basically your best healing item. Top notch stuff. Now, what can I do with anything in here? Is this just a red herring room? No point to it whatsoever. I figured there'd be something. You know, oh man, there really isn't any point in coming here, is there? I'm checking everything. I'm mashing the X button. I don't know if you can hear that, but yeah, I guess I guess this morgue room, this autopsy room, whatever the hell it is, it, it's it's pointless. So I guess I'll go the only option that I have to go. Oh man, this is ominous. Just the angle, man. It, it it's all right. Not gonna bullshit anymore, just gonna do it. It's been building up to this. Oh yeah. I uh, Uncle Ben Uncle Baker's hurt. Yeah, that that's uh Uncle Ben Baker. No. <laughs> uh so Shiva. Shiva's become Cerberus. It's not Shiva, Shiva's already dead. Please don't let her turn into She's already a monster! I think it's a little late for that, Ben. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm the one you want, Demon Dog, Cerberus Shiva. Kind of weird. Three targets. Okay, they're saying you got three targets. Also, if you have the, uh, whatchamacallit, flame bullets, heat bullets, you're not gonna do dick to this dog. It's not good. So, it's kind of haphazardous to bring elemental bullets. Just saying. I've made that mistake before. It wasn't fun. It's also when you realize, man, those elemental bullets, they don't really help nearly as much as you think. I guess the idea is if you have two guns, one has the crowd bullets, the other one has the heat bullets, then I guess you can swap between the two. It'll help. I should probably be aiming for the bottom one because I'm not really thinking. It's, it's adding a little problem. So, maybe you can tell what the strategy for Shiva here is. Not too difficult, really. Uh, basically, dodge, keep shooting. Oh, it lunges. It howls. I think when it howls, one of its heads die. And that's how you know you're doing a good job. I'm going to use some heal, too, because why not? Uh, the bottom head obviously heals. The other two, well, I don't really know. Oh, it does this. Okay, it roars apparently. Yeah, one of the heads are dead. 
How convenient. So I got the upper two. It likes to use the beam attack, the tri-beam. Also, it's it's really not that difficult of a boss. You just kind of have to dodge and not be stupid, and you're fine. That might be a little difficult for me, but God, God help me. I'm I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try as much as I can. I should probably heal up, but screw it. I'm I'm doing everything. Shiva can't Shiva can't hurt me. It's trying. I only got caught with that beam thing once. This is my strategy. What What do you think? Oh, it's just waiting. It's buying its time. Okay, let's see. If I was gonna do a thing... I'm gonna use heal 2. I should probably show off energy shot, because it's pretty wicked. It's one of our only offensive spells. One of them. We do get a second one, believe it or not, but... I'll, I'll, uh... I'll tackle that on w when we get there. Going for the bottom one. Energy shot. Booyah! Does a shit ton of damage. Bombhead's dead. I, I guess it's roaring attack stunned you. Uh, that, that sucks. Uh, I guess it has two roar attacks. I don't know if I can pronounce that right, but... Uh, it is what it is. I'm gonna use the Medicine 3. Uh, which, I can't tell what that is. I mean, Medicine 1, that's probably your basic ibuprofen. Medicine 2, I don't know, uh, so, some stronger aspirin or something. Medicine 3 was that. That was just bad placement. <laughs> you tricked me, Shiva. Uh, Medicine 3 was that. Painkillers? Oxycodone? I leveled up and killed Shiva. I also got confused, which... Don't know how I feel about that. So yeah, that was our boss. I hope you enjoyed it. Also, we got a uh, we got we got a cutscene, but I gotta walk to it. We got the chief, and we got Ben. Oh man, Ben, Captain, I, uh, I, Uncle Ben's hurt. He got stabbed by Shiva. Actually, he, I don't know. Did, did it lunge? I, I figure the captain would be dead. Uh, ben. Daddy! Daniel, where were you in this whole incident? Ben, are you okay? Uncle Baker was protecting me. He was a hero. My hero. Captain, thank you. You don't know how much this means. I remember when we were partners. We used to play at your place. Cards. Um, other things. I don't really know. I'm an old man. Why are you so much older looking than Daniel? I'm just saying, I think they're supposed to be about the same. Actually, they're probably not the same age. I, I, I don't know. I just remember there's something along the lines that they were about the same rank when they started and then uh well obviously baker's chief daniel is not conception you know out of all these things one of them is not like the other okay we had like evolution um something something i don't remember i'm not gonna have future kill and post that stuff you guys if you know what themes we had for each chapter then right on but conception that doesn't seem like it fits with what's going on, but it will. Because there's a little more plot to go with it. <laughs> uh, people, Daniel, you're in charge now because Baker got hurt. He's, uh, where is he? I mean, don't get me wrong. I figure he's, like, alive and stuff, but he's just kind of incapacitated, not able to give any orders. Uh, which I don't really understand. You figure he'd just be sitting at his desk just telling people, hey, there's a thing, but I guess I'm looking into it. Daniel here is now in charge, uh, and a cutscene. I hope you like that. Basically, he's in charge. That's all we know. Uh, Nick's in the hospital. Oh, Nick's is alive. That's good. You're Warner. Yeah, yeah, you are. I, I didn't even look at your name, and I remembered who you were. That's how memorable you are, buddy. Uh, we'll start fixing up the office. Random cop man, you're right on. Daniel, 
I bet he's snooping around like, okay, you're talking about Matty or Meaty or whatever his name is, Japanese scientist man, uh, the criminal lab. Okay, we were there. We were there in forensics. I got healed. It was fantastic. Technically, this is when I'm supposed to go snooping around through the through the lockers in that one room and kidding all the little goodies I missed. But I already did that at the beginning of this episode. Because I felt like doing it. Also, we did have a key from one of the police officers. That's how I got the trading card. Which, by the way, if I have not explained, trading card, basically a weapon mod. Or, yeah, permit. Weapon permit. I basically allows you to mod your weapon open up a slot so you can put a new ability on pretty sweet uh, i guess i could cut it until we get to forensics okay if i remember correctly and i probably don't this is forensics this is where we need to go oh it totally was also i have control until now I thought you'd be here because you're a nerd and you're a scientist and this is lab equipment. Uh, like I said, this is, yeah, this place makes me think more clearly. Okay, well, yeah, you know, stereotypes. Hey, Daniel, I didn't see you coming up here. Also, you walk really slow. Uh, because it's the filler episode. It's the filler arc. There's no rhyme or reason. I guess she's just fucking with us or something. Uh, yeah, she wasn't even here. That's how much of a filler part it was. Uh, yeah, pretty much a distraction. Uh, but the real reason is because uh, there there's plot. Sperm bank. Yeah, remember that conception? Uh, because, you know, artificial insemination. Yes, that's right. Eve is trying to become pregnant because she has a temporary body. She's on borrowed time. It's going to dissolve, and the mitochondria are just parasites in her body. So basically, she needs to create the ultimate being. Just like in Japan. Just like in the book. Just like in the movie. I watched the movie. It was pretty crazy. Uh, but it was just an adaptation. I guess things happened differently in the book which is i guess the more canonical version uh yeah doctor is at saint francis hospital which by the way probably the next location by probably probably i mean it totally is chapter four we're going to the hospital gotta stop eve from getting pregnant also ammo that's completely useless all enemies drop in i totally have more than I need. I'll never run it out of ammo. Except at the very beginning of chapter one, you're pretty safe. And even then, I'm, I'm pretty sure you have to be an idiot. Uh, let's see. Well, there's really not much else to do. I can go to all these places. And of course, you'll be like, hey, that's pretty neat, but it's gonna lead up to nothing. And you're gonna look foolish, and they're gonna say, hey, that was cool. Uh, I guess Daniel's not even here, it's just me and media. This is a little awkward. Uh, but hey, Aya's pretty cool with it. Aya. Is it Aya? Aya Bria, yeah, okay. I keep saying Aya, it's probably Aya. Uh, you're awfully quiet, Mr. Scientist Man. Uh, because he's in charge, you know, he's. Oh. Never mind, he's just trying to get, he's trying to blackmail Clamp. Yeah, yeah, you know, also Ben, he's a single father now. Kind of has to be with his son, make sure that he's not going to get in trouble like in the last part. That was pretty bad. So yeah, we're going to the hospital, Media, yes. Uh, that creature in Japan, you know, the first, the first game book, it wasn't a game, uh, it died along with the scientist that was its father. How did it, okay, so this happened in the first game. There was a rebellion, the mitochondria passed from the father, didn't connect with the ones passed from Eve. So basically, uh, 
it deteriorated, dissolved, much like the enemy's orange liquid. They burned to death or something. It dissolved. Acidic. Doesn't matter. Even though it's a monster, I guess it's still your child. Didn't happen in the movie, but it happened in the book, I, from what I hear. In the movie, if I remember correctly, uh, it, the the ultimate being, quote unquote, wasn't even born. You had mitochondria Eve, and I think the 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 husband scientist dude he kind of burnt to death with his wife, uh, who was really just like a collaboration of the mitochondria in mitochondria Eve. And that, that's what happened in that one. This hospital. It's so familiar. It's hot. It looks like Eve is in there. Well, scientist man, if you go in, you're going to get burnt to death. If I go in, I'll be fine. Oh, uh, no. Don't give me some useless crap. He gave me some useless crap. Which I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce. But he's going to say, it's a good luck charm. Uh, no. I don't need it. It eats up an inventory slot, and I, I felt ter- Actually, do you have anything else to say? Yeah, okay, you're gonna burn up. I got it. Brilliant. Beautiful. Time to enter the hospital. That's what I would say, but, uh, let's be honest. Next time, the hospital. I don't want to go to the hospital.